So we've been getting a lot of mango flowers on our trees. It just seems like the whole grove is suddenly blooming. And that's a wonderful thing to see. One thing that has been a problem though is the last four or five days we've had really strong winds for this time of year. I think it was two days ago we, our winds got up to 25 miles per hour and uh, that, there's a big difference between even 20 miles an hour and 25 miles per hour as far as what damage uh, can happen. And with wind, of course, not as many pollinators are flying around, or if they're flying, they've got way off course, they've like blown way off course. But the main danger for mango flowers is the wind dries them out too quickly, so they cannot actually accept the pollen. I, there, there's a little sticky part of the flower that accepts the pollen, and when it dries out, pollination doesn't work. So, these flowers look great. Uh, you know, they don't look like they're dried out at all. But location matters. And in this grove, most of our trees are about the same height. So one row will protect the next row from a lot of the wind. But at the top of the trees and at certain parts of the grove, there's just nothing you can do. The wind is just hitting those trees in a certain part and those flowers might all die without being pollinated. There's, uh, if you have a small tree, I suppose it's possible to protect it from the wind and so those flowers would be receptive for a longer period of time. But the problem is when you protect a tree, if you're able to put some dome of protection over it, uh, you're probably going to be excluding the pollinators also. It's so wind is just something that happens and it's good to be aware of what is happening to the flowers on your trees, especially if you notice like this one section of tree was beautiful, had great flowers and all of a sudden there's nothing. So yeah, wind is definitely one of those things that can make that happen. But the good news is it's still January. And if you happen to lose a massive amount of flowers on your tree, it's still possible that your tree will flower again. We've had a lot of periods of cool weather, sometimes cold weather, followed by warm weather. So this recent past, what was it, about a week ago, I think we had pretty good cold weather. And so another several weeks and we could have some new bloom on some of these trees. So a few days ago I cut this grafted part back. There was a lot of new growth, very heavy. It was actually pulling this whole branch down. So it has made it through the worst of the wind very well. And for a lot of these other grafts on this tree, uh, I either trimmed them back or in this case multitasked. So you want to take off the leaves, but the quick way is to uh, cut it back to, a, you know, below where most of the new leaves are. But for just a little extra effort, a little extra time, you can prepare some graft wood. So I did that, and all of these should be ready in another week or so. This time of year, it takes a little bit longer for the graft wood to uh, be ready to use. Uh, and also I'm concerned at this point in time that the, the uh, terminal bud could be a, a flower bud. This could be producing flowers. And so that's the downside of grafting at this point uh, in the year. But I do have a fair amount of graft wood prepared. So the bottom line is if you know you're going to have a lot of wind, you can definitely help your new grafts survive by preparing them for the wind. You can even prepare a huge tree for wind. Uh, you know, that's what we did before the hurricane. We tried to cut some of the big branches off. But as far as the flowers go, you just sort of have to cross your fingers and hope for the best. They're 
probably will be certain parts of the tree that are uh, hit worse than others and you just gotta hope for the best and move on. <laughs>